Hi everybody, welcome back to the House of Jane. My name is Lisa. So I'm in my middle son's room. He doesn't live here anymore, but um, my whole house is in huge disarray because we're getting ready to put it on the market because we're going to move very soon. But I thought I would pop on in and show you what I got from Craft New Day. They contacted me for a second unboxing and I said, absolutely yes. And I'm already dropping things, hang out. So they let me pick some beautiful things from their website. Mostly they have diamond painting projects on their website, but I also discovered some really cool and cute accessories that they let me choose from. So I'm gonna show you everything on the table. I'm gonna switch the camera around. But before I do that, I wanna let you know that I have the coolest code available, 10% off of your order with Jane 10. Yahoo, Jane 10. Or if you buy two things, I think totaling 50 bucks, you get free shipping or two things, you buy two things and you get some stuff free. I will link in the description box all their specials. I don't make any commission on anything. I am just passing along Jane 10 for 10% off your order. These are the cool things I got. Let me turn around the camera and stop blabbing and show you what I got. Be back one sec. Hi guys, I'm back. These are the items that New Craft Day sent me for review. I'm going to go ahead and do the accessories first, show you the two diamond painting projects, and then do a quick demo. So the first thing is this storage box. This storage box is something I really need. Almost looks like a vitamin box, but it's not. This will store all your little diamond beads. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. You have seven colors. You have 28 little boxes. And basically, you know, self-explanatory. Okay, let's see how easy it is to open this. Maybe if I was, oh my lordy. Call me a weakling, but it's not hard. It's quite easy. It's just me figuring things out. <laughs> Let's look at another one. Let's start with a new color that it, like it will make a difference. They're just in there. You're not gonna break a nail and you're gonna put all your little diamond beads in there. How cute, and you can even label them. So there's 28 different little storage nuggets for all your beading pleasure and it also closes. So I like that a lot. Look at this. Talk about bling, 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 bling. I love me some bling. I saw these pens. They're not pens. Isn't that nice? This is my new diamond pen to stick down the little beaties. How cute is that? Let me see. Let me work this out. There it is. That's where you put your little wax right there and do your diamond painting. Sweet. I like me a little bling. What do you think? I think it's nice. Okay. These are the two projects. They actually asked me, do you want to do these projects? They are uh, wind chimes. There's about six different wind chimes, six or seven. I picked two. I picked a butterfly and I picked a dragonfly. Let's see what's in the kit. Everything you need to make a smoking wind chime. Now, this is what the finished wind chime would look like right there. Where is these instructions? Where's the instructions? Okay, this is just showing you what's included. I need to 
see the colors. Okay, the colors are here, just like the last one. So I thought I would be getting a guide. You don't, you just get the numbers. So let me show you. These are just the wind chime danglings with the, with the string. Got your little wax, you got your little diamond pen, you got your little tray. I'm gonna go ahead and use my new bling pen and do a quick demo on just how easy diamond painting is. So the only thing I'm gonna take out is the wax and the little tray to put in the beads. So let's choose a color. I like how they really, this is really packaged very nicely. Now obviously on camera, it's gonna all this plastic bag opening, closing, it's making some noise. So I hope you know you don't have an aversion to all the noise that's going on. But let's choose a number and let's see how this works. So here we go. Hopefully you can see it's numbered one, two, and everything has a six. Let's just open one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got some specialty beads in little envelopes. Okay, here's seven. All right, so all the beads are here. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna show you I'll show you with this size bead, number 11, because you can just start out with any color that you'd like. Put some 11 in there. Shake it around. Oh, I'm already dropping one. Shake it around so hopefully most of them turn face up. Let's take the new bling pen and get me some wax on it. You don't have to overload the pen. You can just put it in like that. Pick up some wax. I'm not picking up the wax, so. There we go. See the wax? Not sure if you can see it in there. I don't have the most sophisticated camera system in my in my son's room. So I chose number 11 and there is 11. So all you do, this is so simple diamond painting. You just peel off the paper. There's a little plastic paper on top. Stick it on to get the beads stuck on there. And you just stick it on the number that you're doing it with. In this case, 11. I stuck it on that space. When you're done working in that area, close it up because you do not want to lose the stickiness. There's another um, 11 right there. I'm gonna open it up again. Let me see if you can see this. You just take your pen, stick it on the bead very lightly, just like that. And I'm gonna stick it on the other number 11. You see the 11 right there? Well, actually, I have to stick it down on the table. Super easy. That's all you do. So I can go ahead and do all the 11s, but what I realized with diamond painting, it's always good to work in sections. So there are a lot of number ones. Oh wait, before I go to the section, let's just go ahead and even just store it. Let's do a quick storage. I'm gonna take the beads that are number 11. And I wonder if I can steal this sticker on the bag. Cause if that sticker would come right off like it is, let's see. All right, for now, I'm just gonna go like this. I got part of the sticker on there. And then you just put your beads in there. 
just like that. So you can fill it up by project. There I go, spilling the beads all over the place. Seems like a whole, I, I mean, <laughs> as you can tell, I am also a klutz. Oh my. But you know, they just go stick on the pad of your finger and they'll stick right in there. So I might actually even open all the bags and get my numbers situated because I should go sequentially in order, like one, two, three, four, and then just work my way through the colors. So I'm probably a few steps ahead of myself. But since there are a lot of number, um, number ones, I don't have my supplies. I'm not at my normal workstation. Let's see if I can you would think there's like a little perforation here that would open really good, but it's not. And it's because I'm on camera. Do I have little scissors in here? I'm opening my son's drawers to see what he has in his drawers. He does have a little... I used to give him little... Um, here we go. Swiss Army knives. Check that out. I'll just cut this off. I'll have to save his Swiss Army knife for him. I'm going to have to pack up his room for him. Let's see if I can get this a little bit more organized. So I'm actually going to start with this as number one. And after the video, I will... Um, Go here and mark this properly. But I like these little cups. I mean, this is all number one, and it's, it's all. Isn't that sweet? I love it. But let's put some on a tray. Oops, that's number 11. I can tell there because of the size. put it into my number 11 here. I actually do have a method for with my madness. I do, I really do. Let's go ahead and I'll quickly demonstrate the number one beads. So just shake it around. Try to get most of them facing upwards. And you just peel it off. You take the glue and you just place it and just place it on the numbers going around. The outline. And I'm just putting these simply, just sticking them down on all the little surfaces that have a number one. That's how easy diamond painting is. And I find it like actually very relaxing, non-stressful compared to some other crafts I do. This is just one of the more easier crafts that I've um, recently started. And you could make a lot of headway just methodically sticking in those little beads and already I got that whole little roll right done so that's the one and you just close it up so you don't get so you don't lose the stickiness and then you just put everything away when you're ready to work again easy peasy lemon squeezy very easy so this will make a really pretty butterfly. And then the other kit I got was this dragonfly. It is also a wind chime. It comes with all the beads necessary to make this wind chime. I will pop on, hopefully, and show you some progress. 
or post this video. I haven't, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. And I might actually take a look at the video and see if I'm even gonna post this because I feel like it's a little disjointed, but my whole life lately is kind of disjointed <laughs> with my moving and everything like that. It's just been a little stressful, a little hectic, and um, maybe I just need to slow down and do some diamond painting and take a deep breath and then go back to packing. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you're interested, Jane 10 will get you 10% off your order at New Craft Day. I will leave the website link down below. Give me a like. I would love a like. Tell me what you think of this little bling pen. Isn't it adorable? I will see you all in the next video. Hope you all well. And um, talk to you soon. Bye.